How do you compare two fractions? Let's say the two fractions are in the form a by b and c by d. One way in which we can compare them is by making their denominator same. Once we make the denominator same, the fraction with the higher numerator is the bigger fraction. But that's a long process and involves calculation of the least common multiple of the denominators. Instead, it's a better idea to compare the product of A and D with the product of B and C. Based on the value of these two products, we can easily say which one's greater. These are the three simple rules. If these two products are equal, then the fractions are equal. If AD is less than BC, then A by B will be smaller than C by D. And if AD is greater than BC, then A by B will also be greater than C by D. This makes it really simple. So let's say we have to compare 6 by 7 with 16 by 19. Instead of trying to make the denominator same, all we really need to do is compare the product of 6 and 19 with the product of 7 and 16. 6 times 19 gives us 114 and 7 times 16 gives us 112. As 114 is greater than 112, we can be sure that 6 by 7 is greater than 16 by 19. If we use the calculator, you will see that 6 by 7 is approximately 0 0.8571 and 16 by 19 is around 0 0.8421. But is this always the best way? What kind of questions appear in the exams? Look at this one. We need to find which one is greater. Would making the denominator same approach work here? Very difficult as we would have to first find the LCM of 203 and 252 and then rewrite the fractions accordingly. That would require a massive effort. What about the approach we used? Compare this product with this one. This too perhaps would be time consuming. Competitive exams rarely test your computation abilities. They test your ability to choose the best way and solve the problem in very little time. Look at the first fraction. 101 by 203. This value approximately equals 1 by 2. 101 by 202 would be exactly half. But this, as we can see, is approximately half. What about 179 by 252? Well, this is much more than half. 179 times 2 is 358. And we have just 252 in the denominator. So we don't even need to compare them. We can easily say that 179 by 252 is greater than 101 by 203. That's how easy approximations make it for us. We just had to take a look at the fractions and take a call. Here's another problem. Which one is greater? Making the denominator same and finding the products do not make sense here. Looking at such questions should make you realize that there is a better way to solve these. Let's use the approximation technique we saw. The first fraction is approximately 800 by 1600, which is around half. And the second one is around 420 by 840, which is also approximately half. What do we do now? Do we calculate the value of each fraction? Let's try calculating 797 times 2. It equals 1594. The denominator of the fraction is 1599. Think about it. 797 by 1594 is exactly half. So 797 by 1599 will be 
Yes, it will be slightly less than half. And what is 421 times 2? It's 842. So 421 by 842 is exactly half. If we decrease the denominator by 3 and keep the numerator as is, the fraction will be slightly greater than half. Clearly, the second fraction is greater. Yes, we need to calculate a bit, but this was way better than any of the other methods we could have possibly applied. <laughs>